It was two shades. I almost said stations. It was two stations from Bull Central Boulevard by train. The skating area is complex buildings smack dab in the middle of the Central District. It has regular ice rinks as well as a special ones for ice hockey and figure skating. It's even kept open year round. With the amount of media attention Canon has been receiving recently, it's not surprising that the Tumont Bent Sioux City is going all out with its sports facilities. It was 6.30 already. It's almost time to clear out the regular customers and make the complex into a facility solely dedicated to reserve to reserved practice time. I got in after explaining to security that I was a relative of Canon. Of course, joining the athletes on the ice during the rigorous training is strictly forbidden. I sat in the stands and silently observed the practice. Hey, Lisa! Can <laughs> lose my voice. <laughs> I ha a happy, carefree voice came from the direction of the rink. I couldn't hear her coach anywhere, so it would probably break time. Hey, son! Look! Look! I'm doing it! I'm flying! Smack it to the wall. Can <laughs> gracefully glided <laughs> around a track, not even wearing a coat. Hey, uh, what are you playing? It's not a game. It's compulsory figures! Compulsory uh, figures is an event where an athlete has to etch a pattern onto the ice. Although since it was uh, unsuitable for TV broadcast, that e event has been excluded from most competitions. Practice is going to be over soon, so wait for me! Kana was on one leg going in a circle. Occasionally she would change the direction of the curve, slowly tracing out a symbol on the ice. It was a penis. <laughs> Due that's what I was thinking too. That's yeah. why it's not allowed on TV. That's a hundred percent what I was thinking. <laughs> Due to its slow nature, it doesn't look all that fancy. I'm getting bored here, but for Canon, it's an important test of her skills. All done. It's a penis. <laughs> to keep on practicing, uh, to keep on practicing even during breaks, impressive. It's an impression of you, Zay. <laughs> this is my diary. <laughs> Wait. Wait till you get a load of this! Can face me while skating backwards. Wait, what a what? poor choice of words. <laughs> Skates uh, trace out two parallel curves with complete ease. Wow, have you gotten better or something? I gave her an obligatory compliment. See you look, I drew a butt! <laughs> I'm going to spin now! Yeah. Pivoting off that motion, she began to spin but it would appear that she didn't generate enough momentum and she suddenly stopped shortly after. Wow, that looked really good or something. Nissan, or something. if you're always half-hearted like that, not just going to get angry, you know? Well, I'm not a judge or anything, so I really don't know. Still, it seems like you've lost some weight. Yep, thanks to that, I can jump even higher now. Soon I'll be able to touch the ceiling of this arena. And after that, I'll fly for real. <laughs> Height, 5'3", body shape, well-proportioned. Wow, oh, you like the same height as me. Wow. Oh. I'm, like, I'm 5'11", so... Wow. I'm so short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I have friends shorter. <laughs> However, it was her, her long limbs that really gave her the edge in figure skating. Wow! When she tried executing a second jump, she lost her balance. Hey, now, don't get too cocky and injure yourself. If I got hurt? You come take care of me, right? I'm so I better get hurt. Ice. I'm not allowed on the ice, so I'm not gonna. It's <laughs> a good excuse. She, chat <laughs> she chatted as she came over to the seats. Aren't you cold? No, I'm perfectly fine. That thing you're wearing, is that your uh, co competition costume? Yep. Do you know if you came to watch me? Bitch. <laughs> Is it okay to be wearing that right now? The big day's coming up, so I have to wear this while practicing. In a month and a half, Cannon will be entering a competition that is used to select Olympic participants. But the me reason I'm wearing it today is because I wanted you to see it. I wanted to show off for you. Oh, she got closer. <laughs> uh, she held out her arms and hugged me tightly. Hey, watch it. Look at your feet. Those razor sharp blades almost cut my toes off. Mm -hmm. 
Slice him and dice him. Crazy. This girl has a weird sense of humor. Uh, Everyone yeah. does. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, yeah, uh, where's Mama? Coach? She's in a meeting right now. She's really busy, huh? I wanted to say hi, at least. Well, it's because Nanchan just went to Canada, right? Since my foreign training is done, they're talking about the direction they want to take me to take with me. What direction do you want to go in? I don't know. But I'm definitely going to the Olympics. I want to go forwards. <laughs> She's a simple one, isn't she? Hey, hey, listen to my popularity plan. Plan? The plan is to be even more famous so that more people will come and watch Nanchan's performances. Yay! Genius. <laughs> Great. What comes next? Um, that's it. What else is there? Magazine covers. <laughs> it's a vague plan, but that's so like you, I'm sure you'll be fine. Can you return to the shake skate shaking? <laughs> Why do I keep saying shaking? <laughs> return to the skating rink once again, smiling all the while. Now then, I'm gonna sh show you my quad jump too. Uh, you mean the loop? Quad jump refers to the quadruple lutz and exper extremely difficult jump that has never been successfully performed in any public women's comp competition around the world. Isn't that when jump. you jump in the air and spin like four times, then touch the ground? I believe so. Uh, the jumping itself is uh, easy. Landing the damn thing is the hard part. I've always fallen down before, but I'm sure I can do it if you're watching me, son. Hey, don't try it if you uh, can't do it. It hurts when you fall, doesn't it? But I'm going to be even more popular if I pull it off. She's going to hurt herself, doesn't she? Huh. That's gonna Probably. It only works if you succeed. Everyone loves it when you bring out new techniques. So I have to try my hardest to make it work. Can Sarge skating again, full of momentum? Hmm? Nissan, I'm starting now. Wait, I'm getting a call. It's probably uh, Mika-chan again. Jeez, there's a limit on how much you can disrupt my life, you know. Hello? However, when I heard the voice coming through the receiver, I couldn't help but hold my breath. <gasps> Dad, she finally called me after all these years. <laughs> I didn't even know your voice. I forgot it. Nissan, are you finished yet? Ken was nowhere near my radar. I'm starting. I'm jumping. You'll be sorry if you miss it. After the call disconnected, I said one thing to her. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Sorry, something came up. What? Wait. Ken stomped her feet and the sound of the crushing ice reached my ears. Oh no, I'm sneaking through the ice! Save me, brother! I can't swim! <laughs> Just like Ichi! My mindset had already changed. Karma! My carefree... No. <laughs> my carefree time in the surface world has already over. Because the, that call was from a Zygonzo summoning me to his quarters. Oh god. What's from dad? Wow. I predict Daddy. everything. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the city's southern district is very quiet. It's a tranquil, high-class district with newly built homes lined up one after the other. Each of the many mansions is so spacious and luxurious that it creates the illusion that one isn't even in Japan anymore. We're in America. We somehow transported to America. The pedestrian count is remarkably low, and I can and I only occasionally pass by a cop patrolling on a bicycle. The luxurious doors all bear the metal plates of various protection agencies, sparing not even the space for an insect to pass through. It's an area that uh, suitably demonstrates the power of the people who live here and control the city. And quick save before I forget. Oh, I, yep, I'm going to do that too. Quick save. After around an hour, I arrived at Gonzo's estate. No matter how often I come here, I still get nervous. Uh, okay, it was blank for a second. <laughs> I know, I was like, what? <laughs> we broke it! When I pressed the doorbell, a maid quickly answered. It's Koyu Koyusuke? Yeah, it's Koyusuke. Is my father in the in the house? Is he in the house? <laughs> ellipses, ellipses. 
After a few more minutes, I was allowed through the gate. Two expensive black cars were parked on the grounds. I looked at the pond as I walked through the hall. On the way, I met a few of Gonzo's subordinates and greeted them. Gonzo is having dinner with a guest right now. I was commanded to join them for a drink. I was commanded to join them for a drink. I can only follow instructions. I finally arrived at the door of the guest room. Light leaked out from beyond the sliding door. I didn't hear a conversation. Instead, I only heard the sound of alcohol rapidly flowing through someone's throat. Without a doubt, that man wait awaited me on the other side. Pardon the interruption, sir. It's Koyusuke. A gun awaited me. <laughs> After a short while... Oh... <laughs> a Zygonzo released a deep sigh and resembled the bearing of an animal. Uh, may I join you? I heard that there was a guest, but I couldn't sense anyone else in the room. In there. And, uh, <laughs> you should give him like, <laughs> you should give him like a really high pitched voice, like the girls. Okay, but look at that <laughs> bloody hand. Wow. Oh yeah, there's a bloody hand. I really sense something abnormal. Okay, you sure you really want to? I'm very voice? sure. I'm very okay. sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, you think something in the world. You are here! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A series of extravagant dishes had been strewn about the uh, tatami mats. It's been a long time, I sincerely apologize. In this traditional room, a man who appeared to be a guest lay before me. He was bleeding from the forehead and was laying down flat on the table. I gazed at the man, unsure what he had died, whether he was dead or alive, and put on a mask of indifference. How have you been lately? Uh, uh mm, there are no problems uh, worth mentioning. <clears throat> no problems at all, except for your voice. <laughs> before my father, before as I gone, so I'm used to the sight of blood. On the corner of the table lay a crumbled business card. Mayu Station, first planning departed, department, executive producer. I think I've heard this name before. Every every Monday at prime time, he airs popular drama shows with over 20% viewer rates. This guy is pretty famous. Oh, Both 20%. Wow. <laughs> Both his personal and work lives are riddled with impressive exploits, and there is no person in the entertainment world who, would, who wouldn't wag his or her tail for him. What's wrong? Does it bother you? No. If you if you gave out his card, that means this is the first time you've met. This guy is far too arrogant for his own good. You haven't changed, father. Especially that voice. <laughs> can, can you know I have throat cancer, son. It makes my voice high. I, I know, father. Kenan is famous as a beautiful figure skater. She's even been in a few commercials. If Gonzo called the man arrogant, then it's probably not his personality. It's likely because of some problem with a contract. At any rate, my father just submerged someone into the sea of violence upon their first meeting. Someone of rather prominent stature, no less. When I was younger, I always wondered why he could bend the rules like that. Uh, 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 bread. Bread. This turns into a zombie thing. <laughs> It seems like the man is still alive. Do you think you're just going to get away with doing something like this to me? <sighs> Gonzo glanced at the man as he picked up a piece of sashimi, unrivaled unri in taste. Unrivaled in taste. I'm going to tell my lawyer. No. Screw that. The police. I'll wipe you away, come back. I'll wipe you from the face of the earth. He's not in the best position to be threatening. Well, let's see. <laughs> Gonzo <laughs> laughed gleefully. <laughs> Your daughter's about 20, correct? Gonzo looked at another shallow of delicious sake. Like Swallow. <laughs> I can understand what Gonzo is thinking. It's too late now. 
To those who have never experienced true danger, threatening to the call of their lawyers or the police at the first sign of hostility seems completely logical. Only, it's too late. The police won't move until something has happened and a lawyer can't be by one side 24-7. So, I think you'll be satisfied after your daughter finds herself shipped off to the highest bidder. And some of your worthless suckers do time in jail for it. This isn't a try threat. Multitudes of delinquents under Azai Gonzo's control are just licking their lips, desperately waiting to receive any order. Beasts who would take pride in their time spent in custody. They're illogical creatures, men who don't even analyze the immediate future. They merely follow orders down to the letter. Well, sit down and have some sashimi. Well, what is spl splashed here and there across the food? Yeah. I love my food with some extra blood in it. Mmm, delicious. Uh, the blowfish looks particularly delicious. Thank you, sir. The man's breath was a feeble as in insects, yet I picked up my chopsticks. Call an ambulance. Ambulance, oh my baby, ambulance, oh my baby. Are you going to drink? Uh, no, alcohol's a bit. Save me, please. I thought you were God. <laughs> I worshipped you. You betrayed me. It's so true liquor, getting Caillou Shoe. It's quite something. Really? Uh, <laughs> this guy is on his last leg. I'm on the last leg! <laughs> Literally, he cut off the other one! Nevertheless, the two of us neglect him and enjoy our food. Blood riddled food. This is a relationship between Azai Gonzo and Azai Kayusuke. Well then, What's the, uh, the day's command? I dimly cut to the chase, Gonzo titled his, tilted his head. You're carrying the smell of a woman. My boy. Good job. The, the pardon? What's he talking about? You got a bitch? No. Paying no mind to my refusal, he glared at me, emitting an unspoken, suffocating pressure. Don't lie to me, boy. You got a bitch. <laughs> I was fooling around with a classmate, Niwa Tsubaki, for a couple of days. That was it, really. She has no memory. She has no money, so I have no real interest in her. He doesn't have a memory either. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, Gonzo stared at me once again. He's almost six and a half feet tall. The giant. <laughs> that's pretty. T that's pretty tall. Uh, the giant excreted in intimidation from his every pore. Except his, his voice. <laughs> Except for his voice. That was funny. Is there something, uh, miss? Not that woman. She oh, works geez. for a rival mobster game. Uh, uh, a woman I've been around, but not Tsubaki? Oh, uh, you're probably talking about Isami. Mm -hmm. well, I met with Cannon. We had she's, a girl's day. <laughs> we went shopping. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, she told me. Gonzo took a furious swig of the liquor. Cannon is different than Iku Ikuko. She has a spirit, and she's not a guy. Oh. <laughs> Ikuko is Cannon's mother. Slash father. Her... <laughs> Slash father. It's really weird and unfortunate. <laughs> I call her Mama when I'm at school or speaking with Cannon. She's a figure skating coach. Also, she was Gonzo's lover long ago. In other words, even though Cannon was his only daughter, she was still merely the child of a mistress. So Cannon's our sister? Half sister? So why were we dating her? Oh well, never mind. I don't think we were dating her, but it's... We were hanging out with her though. But she's yeah. obsessed with us, it's weird, she's in love with us. She is in love with us. She's in love with her half-brother. So that's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, Gunzo's real life wife died a long while ago. I never met her. Wait, but aren't we adopted? I feel like, because he called uh, yeah, because he called his father our stepfather, then That's true. our mother our stepmother, too. Weird. That's true. Probably some sort of adoption or something along those lines. Yep. Uh, Cannon doesn't uh, know about this, and obviously Gonzo and Ikaku Ikuka? Iku, Ikaku? Ikuku. Ikuku. <laughs> Ikuku. Ikuku. 
and Ikuku lives separately. Uh, uh, Kana's personality is much more similar to yours than her mother's. Stubborn and abreditary. That girl would turn out qu to be quite preferable with her high voice. <laughs> A high voice runs in the family. Uh, I was behind one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yes. He's a candidate for the Olympics. Publishers and pro uh, production companies are constantly knocking at the door. If she does manage to get in, foreign media will undoubtedly be interested in coverage. The future is looking bright as a uh, front organization. We at the uh, Azai Corporation should consider using her as a powerful PR tool to help improve our image. Gonzo gave a satisfied nod at my suggestion. How about Canon? This is Canon, right? <laughs> Gonzo opened up the, his hairy fist. You, yeah, better not, you better not try dating my daughter, son. Son of a bitch. <laughs> not allowed to date your, your uh, stepsister. You yeah, can date your other stepsister, though. Yeah, yeah she's fine. <laughs> yeah, Miss in the room suddenly became unpleasant. Listen, Kaiosuke. When he called my name, my anxiety peaked. Fuck her. Whoa! <laughs> that was the opposite of what we were saying. No! Let's Give me the perfect grandchild. Yes, one from my adopted son and one from my daughter. It will be perfect. <laughs> and it sent the strong man in the front of me turned into a uh, detestable monster. You want a bitch to do what you want. You have to eat her up. White literally. How can such a father even exist? Even in, uh, even if she's Ill illegitimate, Canon still has flesh and blood. To have he's his uh, flesh and blood. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has flesh and blood. <laughs> to have his foster foster son. Yep. To have his foster son engage in such uh, intimacies, one must question the man's sanity. We have to milk as much money as possible from her. Men may be all about logic and self-interest, but women are different. You got that? Wow. I gave an ambiguous nod. I don't care how you do it. You can pretend to love her. I will make her your rightful wife. Well, I, for all I care. The most important thing is to establish a sexual relationship. I'm gonna place too much importance on that kind of thing. It's the easiest way to make those. Creatures obey you. My god. I have no I... idea how, why, how I'm married. Oh well. This is, um... An interesting plot twist, I guess. I I understand. I'll see to it sooner or later. So, what happens if we don't date her, though? Will we get, like, disowned from the family? I don't know. That's a good question. My head is numb. When I am before this monster, all regular thoughts cease. How so? Bring me another beer. Gonzo's Gonzo lowered his voice a notch. I said, bring me another beer! Perfect. I knew you were going to go higher. <laughs> Have you heard of a small organization named The Boys? I want you to fuck them, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, yes, their uh, event uh, circle, which has uh, gained a bit of power on the Central Boulevard. An event circle is an organization that helps gather customers for clubs when special events are held. They're just a group of party-loving thugs, but their outward appearance is pleasing, and they can dance and de and they can dance and DJ compared to some talentless performers. They're actually quite good at gathering customers. Do you intend to do biz? Do are you? Yeah. Do you intend on doing business with them? After these organizations expand to a certain point, yakuza yakuza uh, usually come in to help clean up the mess. In exchange for a protection fee, the yakuza will then help them out when they run into any sort of trouble. However, Gonzo wrinkled his brow at my suspicion. They're selling cocaine, but I want it. Bring it to me, son. No way. How my dare back. you obey me? <laughs> <laughs> my back erupted into a cold sweat. Such a small organization could actually dare to sell cocaine? Unforgivable. Of course, the reason that's unforgivable isn't because it's against the law. All the cocaine circulating in the air in the city is under the control of the Sonyoma group. Azai, Azai Goma happens to be the leader of the group, the fourth in its history. I only want to 
I only know what I have to, so I have no idea where to get the cocaine from. But the important thing is that those amateurs went ahead and stepped in our territory. And it seems that their cocaine is of a higher quality than ours. Those bastards. <laughs> they betrayed that's, us. That's, uh, that's very strange. As we speak, I have made out looking for their leader. They think his name is Ichi. And I just thought, um... Uh, Cannon's mom could have a deeper voice then, huh? Mm-hmm. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Perfect couple. Mm -hmm. uh, which has mobility... Uh, well, with his mobility, power, and extensive network of information, tracking down a little brat or two would take little to no effort. Ah, I understand. I might not be needing it in this case, but I'll search him out amongst the shadows. I lowered my head deeply. I'm a ninja. Get a Soviet, master. What? <laughs> Do so, son. Make me proud. Bring honor and, to your family. And remember to fuck your sister. Of course. Yes, after all, I owe my current lifestyle to you, father. Now it's I my turn to fade out of existence. Goodbye, father. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> you drank with Konzo until late into the night. I have no idea what happened to the unfortunate producer. He died. He's probably dead. Hey! Oh. Chapter. It still says chapter one. Well, the first one said chapter zero. Then I think that. Did it? Yeah, because chapter zero chapter. was a pro pro prologue. Then, then chapter one. I think that's it. No, because the... we we got into know. chapter one before and just kind of like chapter one again. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like uh, that means the end of chapter one, but oh well. Maybe. Um. This I I I have to stop. Okay. Well, quick save and. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well, bye, guys. This was chapter one, or. We think. Probably. It was a chapter, another chapter of Devil some, and Beast Train. Some, some chapter, somewhere. Yep, somewhere. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, but that's it for now. And next time we'll move on to the future chapter, whichever well, one that may fuck be. Fuck our sister. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Stay ultimate. Bye.